Hello, I hope you're enjoying the information I share in these videos, but I wanted to share something else with you that is what helped me realize what was going on in my own home. And this was kind of what did it for me. So I'm gonna do a raw chicken demo. And with the raw chicken demo, I'm gonna take this raw chicken and I'm gonna, and it's really juicy, take this raw chicken and I'm gonna smear it over these two plates. And then I'm gonna clean one plate with my old go-to and I'll clean the other plate with a Norwex Enviro cloth. And then we'll look under a black light and see which one did a better job. Now keep in mind when I use the Norwex Enviro cloth, I just use water with it. So it's just damp with water right now. So let's get started. And I'm also gonna use some testing swabs. These are the same testing swabs used by the EPA and the FDA to check surfaces for cleanliness. And the swabs are, I get them from a lab, I believe it's from Weber Labs. And so they're very accurate. They are rapid testing swabs. So we'll find out right away what is going on on our plates, right? So green means they're clean. Anything below the green, the plates are going to fail. So if I worked for the EPA or the FDA and I was using these, if I didn't get that bright green, it would be an automatic fail. So let's use one and see how it works. Get it all covered in this juice that's on the plate. And we'll see what a negative or a failing result would be. So right away, we get a darker color at the bottom. So this would fail. And what that means, these are testing for proteins. Proteins, and you might think, why are we testing for proteins? Well, proteins are smaller than bacteria and they're smaller than viruses. They're also the food source for bacteria. So if there's the presence of proteins, then we're gonna have big problems, which is why the EPA and FDA also checks for proteins because a surface free of proteins will also be free of bacteria in the future. Okay, so we are completely covered now. We know we failed. And I wanna use a black light to really be able to show you what's on the plate. I'm gonna clean one plate with my disinfectants. This used to be my go-to. I don't use it now, I just have it for demos. But this used to be my go-to before Norwex. I trusted it, right? <laughs> used it on everything. And a couple things that I never paid attention to was what was written on the back. So one of the first things that stands out to me is uh, hazardous to humans and domestic animals. Um, it has physical and chemical hazards. And the reason being is because, I didn't know this, uh, disinfectants are a form of a pesticide according to the EPA. All of these companies who make these disinfectants, they have to have a sheet on their website for public viewing that is called a MSDS, a Manufacturer Safety Data Sheet. And on that sheet, unfortunately, about eight pages down, it indicates that this is a pesticide. Also that we should wear gloves or wash our hands immediately following use to wash our surfaces with potable water after use. I don't know about you, but I never did those things. I would use my little wipe and go to the next counter and the next counter after that. And I just thought it was doing its job. So one thing I wanna do is, like I said, use a black light. So I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of this glow germ. This is not provided by Norwex, but this is a product that will mix in with the raw chicken juice. We already know they're dirty. And that way when I use the black light, we can see what is really left on the plates. When we use chemical cleaners, uh, we're also depositing a lot of chemicals on our surfaces, which can be absorbed into our skin, into our kids' skin, and that contain harmful endocrine disrupting chemicals. Now I'm gonna take my fingers, gross, and rub this in and just really cover the plate really good. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my other plate. And then we're gonna get started. So first I'm gonna rinse my fingers off with my Enviro cloth. And we're gonna start with the disinfectant plate. So I'm going to get a wipe or two. I'll just get one wipe, they're pretty big. And I'll tell you, since I don't use chemicals in the house, I just use Norwex, these are so, smell so strong to me now. So I'm gonna use my disinfectant wipe, which has like the scrubbing nubs. 
and go to work to clean this plate off. Like I would do any surface in the past, right? So I've got my disinfecting wipe. Now I'm going to wipe my fingers off again because the directions on the back say that we should wear gloves or wash our hands after use. And it's kind of sad that these are still on school supply list too. And I'll take my Enviro cloth and I'm gonna clean the other plate. When you use your Enviro cloth, you wanna use it nice and flat because all of those tiny fibers go to work to collect what's on the surface. So the, the grease, the grime, and in this case, all the nasties and the bacteria, 99% of bacteria. So now let's see what's left on the plates. I'm gonna turn my light down here. That way you guys can see the black light really well. Don't wanna to go too low. There we go. So the first plate I'll show you is our Norwex plate. So it looks good. That purple is a good sign. No dots or swirls or anything. It's a perfectly clean plate. Now we're gonna go, you can already see it, right? This is the plate that we cleaned with the disinfectants. And you'll see all of this residue. It could contain bacteria, but it's definitely containing a lot of chemicals. And those chemicals are hazardous to humans and domestic animals. And it just didn't clean, right? It just smeared it around. So I am gonna finish the job with my Norwex Enviro cloth. So I'm gonna even use the same side that I used before and clean this plate up. And I love the Enviro cloths because they don't transfer. So if I was in the kitchen cleaning up a mess and I cleaned up one surface and then went to the next one, you ready? Look at that, squeaky clean. So the Norwex Enviro cloth did a fantastic job. Now I'm gonna finish the demo with a test, right? Because the things that can hurt us are often most likely things that we can't see and things that we're trusting our products to remove, whatever products we might be choosing. So I have another testing swab here, which is, this is my new one. This is the one we just used. And I'm gonna rub this on the plates and I'm gonna see if there's anything left. Get them really good. All right, and we'll break the seal on the top, let the solution run down, and see what color we get. Bright, bright, bright green. And um, I mean, it's, it's not veering off that. And again, I used to be the biggest skeptic. And so what I'm gonna do is show you that this is a good swab, this swab works. So it's green right now, right? I'm gonna rub it on my raw chicken and we're gonna see what happens. And pretty sure it's gonna change immediately and it sure did. So it's detecting all that nasty. So the Norwex and Viral Cloth is the way to go for my family. We've completely ditched these. In fact, I saw them in the grocery store recently. They were low stock and like $9 a container. And so this is a much more sustainable option that obviously cleans better. But the Norwex Enviro cloth, if you take care of it properly, it will last a good 10 years. And it has that micro silver in it, which is our backlock technology. So once the bacteria is in the cloth, the micro silver is gonna to go to work to penetrate the cell wall of the bacteria and render it helpless. I hope you've enjoyed this video.